before we start the show, just want to give my condolences, man. Um, thoughts and prayers go out to Michael Brooks from the Michael Brooks show, formerly of the Sam Cedar show, formerly of um, the White, uh, the Young Turks um, for fame and just a general overall good egg, right? When it comes to political commentary, especially from the left, um, sometimes you get it's weird in 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 um in in social you'd get people that were sometimes to the left but a bit to the center right they, they weren't straight up liberals they kind of reined their stuff in a bit to be a little bit more palatable or to not sound so you know he, um head in the skies but i appreciated michael brooks because he was an unabashedly left person left leaning for the most part right um he was very much a bernie bro um he was very much a stringent a stringent sort of defender of all things socialism or especially the virtues of socialism and just generally just came across really well he didn't do it in a really snarky sort of you know um looking down upon you which you know most of these kind of you know um elite lefties end up doing but he did it in a really straight up matter of fact kind of way and plus he was super funny in it um it's just unfortunate that he passed away um his impressions of dave rubin were some of the best things you'd see out there but obviously i think he probably be remembered for of course his book um that he read that he ripped sorry that he just published recently i think a couple of months months ago which you know we're probably thankful we got that and obviously, um, he's saga of a card uh, debate that will go down in the history books. But you just go down just being a really solid dude who I thought probably didn't get as much as the flowers that she should have deserved when he was around. Um, unfortunate passing. Don't really know the cause of it. I'm hearing rumors that it was a possible heart attack or something along those kind of lines. If that's true, God almighty, man. God almighty. God almighty, right? Do you know what I mean? Bloody hell, what a mad time we're in. And I'm, I don't know. Do you think that sort of stuff will be affected by what's going on in the world right now with covid yeah, some some people are just more susceptible to maybe maybe one of the odd side effects is that it it kind of whatever lays dormant in you genetically it sort of like brings it to the forefront. I have no idea, but it's just not cool to hear somebody that was what he must have been in his late thirties, if that, in Michael Brooks, right? Suddenly, you know, succumb to some kind of you know illness or you know something to his nervous system that just you know essentially led him to dying, which is really really sad, man, for everybody involved especially during these times when everyone's sort of banding around, being with their family and friends, um, seeing what really matters in their lives. And I know from watching a couple of shows, a couple of episodes of Michael Brooks' show recently, he did mention he had a couple health scares, but he didn't really kind of get into it because he was, a, he was a, an extremely private guy in that respect. But um, it's just such a... If there ever there was a bad time to lose somebody, this will be it, I imagine, during COVID. So thoughts and prayers go out to everybody connected with Michael Brooks. Um, again, if you're not uh, familiar with him, please check him out. I think some of his best appearances or best work happened to be on his own show. I kind of enjoyed him more on there. I thought he kind of got a bit cynical and snarky when he was on with the Young Turks. And, and, and same could be said with Sam Cedar. But I think once he started doing his own show regularly, he really came into his own. Especially when he bounced off his co-host, his producer, who are probably devastated now. Bloody hell, man. Thoughts and prayers go out to them as well. And everyone that works in that show, man. It's just, ugh, just a really bad time, isn't it? It really is, man. Some of your, some of our cultural greats, people who had, a, who didn't have an opportunity to even cement their legacy. You know what I mean? Are being taken away from us far too soon, man. Jeremy, you know I mean? he had a, he had a valuable role to play in shaping um, the landscape of uh, politics in the US for, you know, decades to come as well. So it's a real shame, man. It really, really is. So uh, again, for some prayers go out to his family and friends. Um, and again, if you want to honor him, I guess the best way would probably be to make sure you play as much of the Michael Brooks show or the Michael Brooks appearances on YouTube as you can. He had a recent interview with one of the guys, um, Stavros, or is it Stav? Yes, yeah, Stav from Come Town. He recently interviewed him. So check out that. And a few other bits and pieces that he's got out there. And of course, his Dave Rubin impression is really, really good. Um, so yeah, definitely check him out, man. RIP Michael Brooks. You will not be forgotten, my friend. 